In the previous episode, we hired a surgeon, Helga Hexa Rev, cleared out our first Sea Raider hideout, and companions are now winning gang fights on their own. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're here. I think we can probably handle 10. All right, go ahead. Smack him. And then we'll help you with this one. All right, that's yours. That's yours. Oh. Oh, no, you took a hit. <laughs> He's a tough guy, though. Ooh. Yeah, he probably didn't take that much damage, to be honest. Oh, yeah, ba bare, not even a scratch. 86% health still. He'll have that back before before we wait a day. Nice. We got a level. We got a level on Triva. Uh, actually, we got two. We missed a level. I don't know how we had two points from that. So one-handed is already maxed out. Uh, I think we should do the same thing. Let's just pump up athletics, and then we'll probably do pole arm and riding next. And then probably throwing last. I don't really want to focus too much on throwing weapons in this campaign. I, I want to get close and personal when we uh you know off people so it's, it's a coward's way to to hit them from the from a distance all right so 65 is going to go up to 125 let's go take care of that all right the damage here eight versus five i think we're okay though especially if we get that same spawn we can just hide in that cubby yep there we go let's get back in here and we'll shield wall all right what's going on here why why does this look funky Oh, we don't have time. <laughs> okay. We're going to definitely have to help with this one. because What a funky formation. Doesn't matter. They're, they're getting stuck in that corner, so this is good. Let's go ahead and charge them in. Let's put some pressure on these guys. Oh, we took a hit. All right, we are distracting. Very, very much distracting. Helga is doing really well. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with her. I mean, she's supposed to be a surgeon, but, you know... She's using her scalpel for the other side. So 155, Trigva, and one-handed. So they're still, again, they're still getting pretty good levels there. All right, a couple upgrades on the civilian side, so that helps. Uh, helmets, cape. Yeah, three helmets and a cape. Nice. And again, we'll sell all the gear. We don't really need any of this stuff. I guess we could keep it. Nah, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. I was going to say when we hire somebody else, we're going to need some civilian gear, but I don't think it's that important, to be honest. Not really worth worrying about. I am concerned about the amount of apples we take on, though. We should uh, <laughs> keep an eye on the apples. Uh, 15 is too much, so let's keep moving. And because I am notoriously bad about checking this stuff, let's see who's close. Ragenwald is close to hitting 6. And Helga, almost 3. Wow, she's doing really well. Yeah, she's, she's just blazing through this. And because we started with 100 medicine skill, we do have Doctor's Oath, and that helps us get medicine xp even when we're we're taking out enemy troops so that helps because we're, we're probably not going to get too badly injured we won't have too many injured troops of our uh, of our own all right let's head down to mysea let's just kind of make our, our rounds oh yeah we want to take that let's see how helga can handle a horse and look at this massive lance oh man this thing's huge and we can couch it all right, Helga does not have any throwing weapons, so I think she's just going to go straight in. And that's what we're going to do. Now, we did... We did couch lance somebody. I don't think it... I thought it hit. Maybe it didn't. All right, they lost one person. Oh, Helga got the kill. Good job, man. Nope, we missed. <laughs> yeah, she missed too. Right, here it comes in for another. Let's actually just go down the middle so we have a hard time missing. Ooh, 183. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, they're going to have a hard time busting us up. Unless they have pole arms. Pole arms are really the only way to counter Cav, no matter how tough you are. Yeah, like we can just ride through with impunity. Oh, we missed. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, let's try some thrust just to see how it performs with thrust attacks. Oh man, 230. So the thrust attack actually did more than the couch lance. So I'm not sure why we would use the couch lance, except maybe it's a little easier to aim because it is pretty hard to tell where you're gonna hit. This thing is massive. Actually, maybe the couch lance goes through the shield. Let's let's test that out. Oh, we missed. <laughs> All right, what does it look like in first person? Yeah, we'll we'll try it like that. 
All right, here we go. Oh, no, we smacked him. <laughs> oh, we killed two there. Oh, we got one, and our horse got one, actually. All right, can we hit this? Yes, we can. All right, so we got most of the kills there, mostly because of our gigantic 350-length lance. So I think taking on just about any looter group or any bandit group at this point is, is going to be just fine. Bronze pauldrons. Interesting. They're not... They're not great. 15 armor, but it's it's for sure going to be an upgrade for Helga. Yeah, I was going to say, she doesn't have anything good. And I think we can get the Bronze Pauldron. Yeah, we can. We can use those in the civilian setting. Nice. So we get upgrades all around. Well, that was a good fight. Not the most challenging, but, you know, at least we get some benefits and rewards for taking the time to do it. And we're doing okay on carry weight, it looks like. How is our Stuart looking? Yeah, we're, we're getting close to that point where we cap out. So we should probably find somebody to handle our steward skill. And for sure, we need a good scout. Having good scouting skill is really important. It's okay right now because we're such a small party. And we're mostly, or we are all mounted. So it's going to be hard for people to catch us. But once we start increasing our size, it will it would be nice to have a good scout. So there's a group of nine there. That's kind of like right on the border where I want to test. But I, I think we should do it. Waterfront, let's do it. Wait, did we do, I thought, wait, did we do a 10? I think we might have done a 10 before. So this should be okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I swear. My uh, my short-term memory is really bad, but once I move it to long-term memory, it's okay. I got it in there for a while. All right, so they're hanging out near the shop. Shop worker, I think it's... Wait, is there anybody here? Thug, thug, and... Oh, they're all right here. Okay, got it. So we gotta we gotta put in some work before they get off their stool. This this might be a tough one, Rag and Ball. Let's do it. Oh, especially when you miss. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. We missed. Okay, he went down. Yeah, we may actually have to wait this one out because I don't he's not gonna have any health when he comes back. Let's not wait. Rival gang moving in at Mysea. Let's let's do that one. Don't have enough men. Yeah, right. We could probably take him on just by ourselves. That's alright. I don't think we can do escort merchant caravan either. Yeah, not enough men. Well we did knock him down to six. So we could probably do it now. It's just gonna be a smaller battle. That's fine. Let's just get it out of the way. Right, there's only two here. I don't think we have our companion with us. So we're just going to have to solo these guys. Hopefully I don't miss. There we go. Nice. It's going to say that last time I missed that first swing, I think that's what cost us. Nice. It was enough for him to at least get it back on his feet. So that's good. One person was really close to leveling up. Okay, she, she did. So Helga, we're going to keep pumping up that one-handed. So I'll put us at 120. And five on five. Interestingly enough, it says they have the balance of power, which highly doubtful <laughs> that's uh that's being a bit generous on their end we got a really solid shield wall here yeah not concerned at all about this actually i'm gonna let them finish this off oh somebody got smacked in the head bjorn bjorn the dozen actually i need to find out how to say dozen in either uh norwegian or um, danish so everybody got a piece we went up to 103 and 4.3 renown. We're actually already at clan tier 3. We're going to be at clan tier 4 <laughs> much faster than I, than I expected. Yeah, this is crazy. I, I didn't realize it was going to go this fast. And did anybody take a hit? Yeah, Helga took a hit. Just a very slight one to the noggin. And tavern, let's go ahead and sell these guys off. Yeah, 730 will take the cash. We're above 50k officially now. All right, Bjorn changed the weapon, which I'm a little curious to see what was changed. Uh, it was the mace, actually instead of the morning star so it says this one's better let's see why the morning star has a lot more blunt damage a little bit more swing speed on on this one i i don't agree with that i think i think the morning star is probably a better mace got a little more length too yeah let's let's keep that we'll override that one we can give trigva the spiked mace and then hexa will take the axe for now at least and then we'll swap her out with a mace we want to be mostly blunt damage yeah this shield is garbage i guess we could keep it so we don't have to buy one. Let's just keep it. Yeah, and all this stuff we can get rid of, and we're back. Back on the trail. Let's see what we got. Off to Cyrenea. Not having much luck with the tournaments, but that's okay. We'll make it up with uh, the gang fights. That's probably not the best place to start. Let's go ahead and get back out a little bit, Ragnarok. Maybe right here, like behind somebody. I'll take this guy. Actually, what I'm going to do... Let me distract him. Oh, okay. <laughs> he 360 no-scoped that guy. 
smacked him while he was while he was down. Stab him through the heart. Man, that was good. That looked like a uh, like a movie. Very cool fight scene. I, I really like that. Uh, somebody gained a level. Let's see who it was. Oh, actually, Ragnvald did. So he's level six. That's our first level six. And what does that do to your wage? He's actually not the most expensive person on here. It's Helga. And I'm wondering if it weights the difference, the skills differently for the wage. It's it's a very interesting way they calculate the wages. I don't know really what's going on. But it, it is kind of cool that they're really expensive because we can't just balloon our, our uh, party. I mean, we could definitely take on more people, but we need to save up some cash for what we got planned. So, all right, let's uh, back to the task at hand. So this is going to put us at 156 athletics. Oh, this is a cool spot to fight. I like this. All right, let's back it up just a touch. And I think what we'll do, we're going to let these guys do all the fighting. Let's just, uh, let's at least just distract somebody. Ooh, good hit. You got a good hit on us. Adam, boys, there's only two left. Don't get careless, though. Oh, oh man. It just looks so brutal when they get a, a slice in the head. Yeah, Iron Skull. Might change that to Skull Splitter. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll save it for somebody else. Trigva needs one. I'm not sure what we're going to do with Trigva. Well, we got some good weapons here. I don't think it'll be upgrades. Yeah, no upgrades. Uh, uh, yeah, it does actually for the weapons. Okay. So they, they took some better weapons. On the civilian side, I mean. Let's get rid of some weight. Alright, nobody else is close to leveling up except for us. So we got a little ways to go. One thing I did forget to check. I'm curious if that passive XP trickle, you know, from the highest skill that trickles into other people. I'm curious to see if that adds to the main character XP, if they get a trickle of that, or if it's just strictly for the skill. So I should probably test that sometime, because that would that would be really cool. Uh, that's one thing that I've noticed with companions. They just have such a hard time gaining main level skills. Uh, sorry, main, main level XP. Unless they're doing something that gives a ton of passive XP, like scouting, steward, medicine, engineering, things like that. These active skills, like the combat skills, athletics, writing, smithing also is really good, but uh, maybe not as much in, in this mod suite. So this town's good. We can't take on 20, so we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, finally we found a tournament. Hopefully it's something good. It's a helmet. We already have a helmet, so I think we'll pass on that one. What about... Ooh, bounty hunters. That's what we wanted to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. All right, Backstreet has only got four. Clearing's only got five. We could do those. How much time do we have on the hideout? 30 days. Let's uh, let's just do this because then we can hit that other one on the way out. So backstreet and clearing. Stay away from waterfront. But there's two people here. Again, I think we'll let Ruggenwald handle it. Hey, bet him. Ooh. You didn't get a good hit on that one. But that was a good one. That'll work. All right, let's let's see what a shield wall does. We give him attack command from the start. Let's let these guys get into view first. Do they hold a good? Do they hold a good line? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, this guy wants a piece of me. Oh no no no! Don't get flanks. Oh no. Okay, he turned away from us. I couldn't get to him in time. That was really stupid. Oh well. But we won't make that mistake again. If they come after us, we're taking them down. And the next one is clearing. I'm curious why there's so many people here. Oh, and you know what? These are bodyguards. They're not going to chime in. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was going to say that's a lot for only having five people. So let's go ahead and... Let's take one out. Oh, no, we won't. Don't get hit from behind. Oh, you got hit from behind. It's probably not a big hit, though. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we can't check their health. Oh, well. I'm, I'm sure everybody's fine. Let's move up like a phalanx. This is the guy I'm most concerned about. And he's dead, so that's good. Alright, there we go. Get him. Oh, nice. Helga actually gained a level. Uh, athletics. Alright, let's see the damage report. Actually, Helga's the only one. Yeah, Ragnvald took a tiny hit. Helga's still at 36, but that's fine. We'll have to wait some time before we do the uh, the bandit hideout anyways. Because we have to be at midnight, so she'll, she'll gain a good chunk of that back. <coughs> Alright, no upgrades for anybody. We'll just sell everything off. Yeah, we are starting to stockpile a good amount of, of uh, swords. So I think maybe a little bit more. Oh, you know what? They don't even have enough money. So let's buy some stuff just so they're not negative. And let's wait here just a little bit so we can get some HP back on Helga. That should be more than enough. Oh yeah, she's back at full. Whoops. And maybe we can get 
an extra no daughter found they might let us do that still though yeah they do okay it's only 624 dinars it's probably a waste of time i guess we don't really have a whole lot else to do after the the hideout anyways all right this time i think we'll try the lance i mean i don't even know how this guy's walking that <laughs> the lance would be stuck on the floor every two footsteps that's funny but we'll at least have pretty good range you hit him from like halfway across the map oh <laughs> That's a little OP. Yeah, that's a little OP. I don't mind it too much, though. Now, last time we got sandwiched a little bit. So maybe we come from this angle. We'll circle around to the right. Come down off the hill. That way, everybody will be at least somewhat in front of us. Yeah, I think that's probably a good plan. And we'll get up nice and close. Maybe we'll sneak up a little bit. And as soon as they see us or we see them, we're just going to charge. Oh, there they go. They see us. Have at them. Oh, yeah. Okay, that did 97 damage. Oh no, they're throwing rocks. <laughs> Man, this thing is so strong. We're not going to be able to use it during the duel because it's, it's obviously way too long. But all right, they're gonna they're gonna handle that. I think they'll probably go this route and go to the the tenth. Let's take this guy off in the field, just so we're not getting pelted. He's got a bow and arrow, so we don't want to take shots from the flank. We'll take him head on, though. We got a shield. Oh, man. Yeah, he was a little close on that first one, so that's why. Well, let's, let's extra shield wall. They are starting to take some shots at us. Oh, that guy's got a really cool looking helmet. All right, he busted one of our shields. I think it was with the throwing weapon. All right, let's uh, quickly switch over. We'll use our mace for this one. I feel sorry for this guy. He's about to get a serious beat down. Oh yeah, you felt the power. That one hit took like 80% of his, his uh, posture. There we go. Yeah, you can't, you can't even stand on your feet. All right, we got a handle hit on that one. That's unfortunate. We just completely destroyed this guy. Maces are so strong in this mod because you don't have to worry about posture as much. This mace is just... And this is the entry-level mace with debuffs. Just imagine when we get uh, a better a better mace. So 6.6 .6 for now is pretty good. We got a lot of kills with our with our main guy. Bjorn did really well. And then Ragnvald. These guys probably got hits, but I guess they didn't get any last hits. So 156 on Bjorn. A lot of prisoners. This this should be quite a bit of money. Ooh, interesting. We got a lot of stuff here. Man, the, the loot is really good from these hideouts. I don't know why this uh, toga is so expensive, because it looks like total garbage. A new cape for Hexa. Cape, 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 gloves. Some decent upgrades. Actually, a lot of upgrades on the civilian side, at least. Nobody took the large bag of, of javelins, though. That was a little surprising. Because this one, it's the same thing, but it has more... We can throw more now we don't have throwing on hexa but we could at least give it to her just so she's not going in by herself right because that's what happened in that last fight she didn't have throwing weapons that everybody else did so they kind of stayed on the outside but let's do that you know what we should do though she doesn't have any throwing skill let's give her the one with only two stacks so ragnvald he'll have the eighth stack hex helga will have the two stack i think that's a that's a fair compromise now we are a bit overweight shouldn't be a problem though yeah, we do have to find where the daughter went. We gotta check these these villages real quick. Ask around, see if you saw anybody suspicious. Right in the early morning, they bought some supplies and went off to Parasemnos. So they're down here. All right, check the area, see if they're still hiding. So we're looking for Randana the Dispossessed and some shady young character. Yep, there they are. Randana the Dispossessed. I really like this outfit. I mean, look at this thing. This looks like something out of a, an RPG, like an actual RPG. And who are we with? Oh, yeah. We don't really have Viking gear on, but the, the shield does kind of look legit, so I don't mind it too much. All right, let's dismount in case we got to fight this guy. We fail our chat checks. And, yeah, of course, we're going to go with the, the two-handed. Can I not give commands? You know, I can't give commands. That's all right. You can stay on your horse. Oh. Okay, you got some gear on you. So that, that I, that's not a guaranteed... Let's get you away from him. In case we fail the chat check. 
Uh, how do I know he's not forcing you to say that? That'll bring up the chat check options. And we got 100% or a double or a 45. Let's lock one up. I think it gives you the same chat options, so we, we would do that one anyways. Nice. So we avoid the fight. Okay, I was kind of hoping to beat this guy up, but that's fine. All right, so we did. It didn't take that much time. That was fine. We're getting a little bit of charm with each one, too. Like I said, we're at 5%. So instead of capping out at 18, we can get easily at least the level 25 perk. And that'll come in handy once we become a, a vassal, or sorry, a mercenary, because then we'll get influence for each tournament that we win. So that'll be cool. And we actually, we got two, two skills. I guess I missed the last one. So now we have to figure out what we're going to do with our main character. We could put some points into some things that we want to get just maybe one or two skills from. Like medicine would be nice. We want to get at least preventative medicine that's 5 HP plus healing after battles. And then this one, another 10 HP after each offensive battle. So these two are kind of nice. We'll get there eventually, even if we don't put points into here. Oh, we won't. Yeah, yeah, we will, because we're getting a passive trickle from our, our surgeon. We have to normally be the surgeon to get XP here, but we'll at least get trickle. We're going to probably want some leadership and some charm as well. I think charm is going to be pretty important for what we're we're planning in the later stages. We also should probably get some stuff up here. Now, I don't know which one's the most important. I think scholarship in the early game is, is pretty important. As you can see, we're, we're getting levels on it. It also allows you to read books, increase your language learning rate. Don't really know what that does yet. And there's a few other things in here that look pretty good. And this is an interesting one here. So accountant and mechanic. So stewardship skill tree yields both perks rather than one. And engineering skill tree yields both perks rather than one. So that means you would get both of these all the way down. That's that's crazy. Now, obviously, we, we're not going to do that because we're going to have people doing these steward and, and engineering for us, but uh, that's pretty cool. There, there is one at the very end, the 275 perk. It looks really, really good. So it gives experience a bonus for every skill point above 230, and then it also adds 50% more learning limit for focus points. So instead of capping out at 330, you go way above it. Or in this case, if, if you don't have it maxed out, like for example, we don't have 10 points here. This would be probably more than enough to get to 275. So pretty pretty cool perk. Might be might be good to max out scholarship actually. I I know I want to do I want to at least include charm at some point. Probably some leadership and maybe one point into trade. I don't think we need a whole lot else. But yeah, scholarship is going to be really strong. Let's actually do that. I don't feel so bad about doing it. And then also 37%, so we're still not really that close. All right, and Danustica clearing's got two, waterfront four. Let's just clear these out real quick. Nice, just slashed him. So he's really fast too. You notice the movement speed, and he was really quick there. Kind of cool, we've, we've got similar outfits too. And only fighting three, like I said, we'll probably let our people loose. Just let them get up here. If we charge now, they're going to go into some stupid single file. Yeah. Get him. Oh, took a hit. Took a hit to the head. Vigva. Survived it, though. Right, we got another club, so that'll be... Let's see. That'll be our last one. So we'll get rid of the axe on her. All right, no upgrades for anybody. Let's keep moving. We want to clear out... I think it was... Yeah, clearing. Oh, actually, we got a note from somebody. Uh, Harold Godwinson asked us to be a vassal. We are definitely not going to do that. If anything, we'll be your king, but we will not be your vassal. Oh, I feel so bad. We're going to interrupt this guy reading his book. What a scholar. A scholar thug. No, oh, turn and block, man. Come on. You're better than that. Ooh. Yeah, you're, you're totally... Oh, he didn't do a second attack. I guess it didn't matter. Oh man, this poor guy. <laughs> he's by himself. Yeah, he's about to get chomped. He's gonna get chomped. Ooh. Stabbed like four times at once. Now we definitely have way too many apples. Not sure what else is weighing us down. I guess it could be the gear. Yeah, we have a little bit of gear. Oh, I don't think we checked. Uh, let's do that and let's just check this real quick. All right, no upgrades there, so let's just sell all of what we got on the equipment side. Yeah, I don't know why this thing is so expensive. It's got no armor at all. I guess if you want to show one of your nipples, it'll work, but that's kind of weird. I don't know that I'd pay a premium to do that. <laughs> okay, so what is weighing us down? We do have a decent amount of food, but 
I mean, it's reasonable. Maybe we go down to four. Yeah, that puts us just under. And we have a, a decent little collection of weapons we could sell or we could smelt. I think we're going to save them up and smelt. They do. Ooh, they have a tremendous amount of hardwood here. Why is that so high? And look at how many geese they have. Geese, chicken, hogs, all that stuff. I'm not sure, but I don't think it really matters. Let's buy maybe 20 hardwood. And what we're going to do, I think we're the only one. Yeah, we're the only one that has the 25 perk. So let's go ahead and refine some of this stuff. And that should be enough. Let's go ahead and I think we have the smelting perk on our main guy too. We kind of have to, don't we? Otherwise, it's going to slow down our, uh, our progress. Let's just smelt these down. And then we can do some forging, at least with, with everybody else. So it says we got a new part. Yeah, not, not a good part, but it is a part. And we can make two of these. Actually, we could probably make more than that. We just need to refine some material. So let's let's make a couple of these. Let's use the person on the end. Let's just uh, do some refining here. Yeah, and luckily we have a little more time left on our main guy. So let's just smelt the rest. Uh, fortunately, he ran out. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do it. Oh, and you know what? We need one wood for that. So that will put a damper on that. But with the axe, let's see. Do we get the same thing? You have to have wood. Yeah, we do. So let's do maybe... I think it's the same with polearm. Yeah, we should have saved some. <laughs> Whoops. That's an oversight on my part. All right, well, let's learn some two-handed swords then. And we're for sure going to have to do some refining because we've got a lot of crude. And it's just not all that good. We have to wait 20 hours here. That was quite expensive. So 66, that was 1,200, uh, 13, 1,400, roughly 1,400 of uh, what we paid to, to use the blacksmith. So that was that was interesting. We can sell these for quite a bit. And do we have an upgrade on a mace? We don't. We still can't beat the, the starter mace. That starter mace is really good. This one does 19 blunt damage. It's a little bit slower, a little bit less handling. But for three more damage, I'm wondering if it's worth it. That swing speed is pretty nice to have, though. Ten swing speed. I don't know why that's such a big difference. Now, we could smelt these down and then keep going. We just need to buy some hardwood, which I think we should probably do. Let's spread it out so we're not wasting a ton of time, because that was that was a huge time sink. So let's let somebody else smelt. It'll be a little slower. Let's do one more of that. That'll leave us with enough crafting materials, at least. And then let's use somebody else to craft. We want to go back to the two-handed mace. We really want to get the two-handed mace out of the way. Now, let's use this one. It uses up some wrought iron, but we have quite a bit of wrought iron. So let's do that. Just max everything out. Yeah, we can make a few of these at least. All right, still at four hours. That hasn't gone up, so let's use somebody else. I think if we craft one more with that same person, that's going to increase the hours that we have to wait. So there's that. You know what we could do? We could refine one more. That'll squeeze one more out of this. Nice. Yeah, only had to wait four hours that time, so that was not bad at all. And the quality is still not there. I mean, we're using people that don't have skill, so I, I'm not all that shocked. It's interesting to see the pricing, though. Like, this this weapon's terrible, but it, it's more expensive. So I don't know how they're getting the pricing. Yeah, there's still no upgrade for what we have. Let's do one more round. At least just the smelting. Oh, we got a new head. So this does nine blunt damage this does 16 blunt damage what's the difference though i'm assuming swing speed's gonna be no it's not that much different so it's not that good oh it does uh, this one starts off at a tier two part i didn't even realize that <laughs> okay okay i'll edit that out so i don't look like an idiot all right i think that should be good just a couple hours we don't want to take too much time doing that all right so it didn't give us a ton of xp it's a little bit i, I think Mything is going to be a real grind with this the mod. I mean, I thought it was a grind with vanilla, but this is probably even worse. we got some people that are close. So Bjorn is close to six. Helga is close to four. So let's just keep moving along. Oh yeah, we got prisoners. Why are we ha hauling these guys around? 1,400, that's really good. Yeah, get out of here. You are now slaves. All right, let's go check out Husen Folk. No tournament, but they've got a couple gangs that we can fight. Kind of curious to see what their their horses are like here. Not too much different from the other ones, so I, I think we'll pass on on upgrading that. Let's take out clearing first. I have out him. Oh boy, can you get him? No, nope, you're gonna need help. Athletics at 157. So six people here. We can probably create a choke point here, pretty good. Yeah, I think they have to funnel through this. 
Can they walk? No, they can walk on the rocks. Oh, we took a hit right off the bat. Right off the rip. Oh, but they destroyed these guys. Just completely destroyed them. Took a small hit. Man. I don't know why Rigba is just doing really well. Similar stats. Uh, I don't know if the weapon, maybe the weapon's got more swing speed or something. I'm kind of curious. Should probably take a look. And we had one more. Actually, who took a hit? Oh, Bjorn took a big hit. Yeah, 20%. And we need to go to Backstreet. Here we go. Let's help him out. Give him oh, did I kick him out of your way? <laughs> My bad. I was trying to help. I had good intentions. Just like this. I have very good intentions. <laughs> oh, man. This is a good way to level people up, I guess. You're getting some solo XP. Although it's against... I'm assuming those guys are like tier 1 or tier 2. So it's probably not that great. I think finding gang hideouts is probably the best way to do it. Although they they do get pretty good XP here because the the gang leaders have got really good stats. So that should give pretty good XP. Right, get aggressive with them. Oh, no. Trigva took a hit. And we got another mace. I think everybody's got a mace. And it's not an upgrade for anybody. I'm kind of surprised these boots aren't an upgrade for even the civilian setting. But it uh, looks like we've got good boots everywhere. So we'll sell that. Uh, we'll hang on to the mace. Yeah, we're overburdened. We have quite a bit of crude iron. So we should probably take care of that. We've got a little bit of hardwood. Nothing here we can buy, but we do have five. Let's 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 go and do that. We'll just refine some of it. Sweet. So that'll only take us two hours. And let's head further south. <laughs>